Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins uh, with JD Cutlery, excited about an order that I just received today. As you can see, we've got the new Zero Tolerance Sinkovich Design ZT0460s in. Um, you know me, couldn't wait, uh, had to get some color on these things as quick as possible and uh, I've got a nice little batch of five that uh, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit some basic specs on these real quick. Um, definitely size comparison wise very very similar to the 450. Um, overall length on the knife when it's open is 7.5 inches. Um, blade length is 3.25 inches and then your handle when it's closed is 4.4 inches. Um, a very light knife. Uh, you do have the carbon fiber on the other side which I am going to show you in just a minute because they didn't just go with a straight carbon fiber they actually added some color. Um, as you can see I've got quite a bit of bronze here on the table. Um, that's really just to try and tie the bronze of the carbon fiber in. So really cool little knives they flip very nicely. Um, you do have a steel pocket clip, uh, a G10 backspacer, and the steel on these is the S35VN. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of show you the action. We'll go through them one at a time and uh, just see what we've got here for you. Definitely a very cool little knife. Uh, once again, I think uh, the partnership that uh, Sinkovich and ZT has come up with is uh, working out very nicely. So, as you can see, I did a nice green to blue fade with bronze drizzle. Um, the lock bar side of this knife is titanium, and they did a real nice job. You got a nice flat, and then they've machined a beveled edge into it, so it looks really nice with all the little lines in it gives you a little bit of grip um, this is a new pocket clip for zero tolerance you haven't seen this design before um, it does not cover up on the lock bar so that is something to be aware of when you're opening this one but uh, you got zero tolerance has branded this one green to blue fade with a nice bronze drizzle and it is the 460 Sinkovich design. This one is 745 serial number and your S35 VN. Jumping over to the other side you can see the carbon fiber with the bronze coloring added in. Um, the carbon fiber has been textured with the lines just like the other side in that cutout area. Um, not super smooth, there's a little bit of texture to the carbon fiber so it's not like a, a glass finish but it gives you gives you a little grab a little grippiness um, to give you an idea what this looks like in the hand it does does just about fill up the hand comes right to the edge it's got a nice nice feel your thumb wants to go out on that blade you'll really be able to maneuver that nicely so I am happy with that G10 backspacer is kind of cool. Um, it's kind of coming up and you've got your jimping in on top of that. So real happy with that. Just uh, feels like it's going to be another another nice little zero tolerance offering. Um, they make so many big knives that when they do do the small ones they always do really well. Really happy with the way the color turned out on this one. Um, the flipping action on these is a little bit different. You are not going to come straight down on that like this. You're going to start up high and move your finger right along the back of the knife. If you try going straight down like this, your finger is going to hurt fast. So again, start up high, just slide it right down the back of the knife. There's no jimping there, it's nice and smooth. Once you get used to that action, it works just fine. Um, you just got to make sure you're not coming straight down on it. 
The other thing you need to be aware of is keeping your fingers on the pocket clip on this side. If you get your fingers on that lock bar like I would right here, there's no way that'll open because you're going to push that detent right into that uh, pocket of the blade and it's not going to let go of it the way it's supposed to. But as you can see, action is really nice and snappy. Real happy with the color pattern on this one. I like that uh, blue-green fade with the drizzle. So that one I think is a definite winner. Uh, this one, uh, we're looking at serial number 753. Uh, I went with a high voltage blue, did some sanding. I left a little bit of that blue kind of coming through in the bronze to give it a little bit of a rustic look. So you got a bronze flat with a little bit of blue coming through. And then I hit the high points um, through this nice milled out area. So you got br bronze on the high points and then that high voltage blue down inside. Very cool looking little knife. Oh, I got, got in a hurry. I got to put that screw right there in. That does fit more flush than that. I was just in such a hurry because I was so excited to get these knives together that I got to finish putting that screw in. But again, that uh, bronze carbon fiber handle is really nice. Man, this is just one crazy light little knife. Um, they do seem to center up pretty nicely. It's uh, The carbon fiber throws you off a little bit with the look of it, but that is pretty nicely centered. Um, very compact. I really like the shape of the handle. Fits in the hand nicely. You really, it makes you feel like you want to start cutting stuff. Uh, the ergonomics are very nice on it. The pocket clip pretty much disappears in the palm of your hand. So definitely a nice feel. This is going to be another winner for the ladies. I've sold a lot of the 450s to a number of uh, my female customers and they've been very happy. I think this one is easily going to fall into that category. I do like that upswept blade. It's got a nice sharp look to it. Really like the lines on this. Um, this is definitely modeled after one of Sinkovich's custom designs. Um, that of course us average folk can't quite afford so this is definitely a nice offering of something in his design that uh, is a much more affordable cost. Go ahead and jump in here got a nice green on this one um, pretty much just the same deal just threw some green on it looks nice with that back spacer Again, centered up very nicely and like I said just slide that finger right across the top and you are good to go very happy with these um, they did a nice job they've uh, actually milled out this area here as well so that that screw kind of goes flush with it so that's kind of a nice little touch that they've done um, one thing they do not have is a lanyard hole for it, so really no spot for it at this point. Blade tucks right in there, it goes right to the edge. One thing I'll probably consider at some point is maybe doing a little milling out of the back spacer to see if I can loop one around there, around that screw. Um, it's an interesting design here for the pocket clip. You've got two screws here and you've got the one screw on this side you actually have it's almost like a pivot piece that goes through the handle and through the aluminum backspacer I'm sorry I did say that was G10 earlier it is aluminum so it's an aluminum uh, black backspacer um, but you've got a little steel uh, almost like a pivot that that screws into and then one of the screws for your pocket clip goes right into that pivot piece there and then that one just goes straight into the titanium. So it is kind of a neat new little design that they've got. Again, flips great. This one turned out a really nice, uh, nice green. Very happy with the coloring on that one. 
Oh, pardon me, sorry about that. I'm still trying to kick a cold that I've had for a little while. Um, this one is a nice, kind of a royally blue. It's got a little bit of hue of purple shooting through here. Um, very cool looking knife. It really looks nice with that bronze drizzle. Um, very happy with the way this one turned out. So, nice color pattern. Really matches the, the bronze and the carbon fiber on the other side. Again, there's your centering. And they all seem to flip about the same. Um, so that's really nice. Lock up on all of them is probably about 40%. I know I haven't shown each one as I went through. But uh, very cool little knives. I'm, I'm happy. I can't, can't believe how light it is. For the size knife, it is really light. And, I mean, you really do... It gives you a feeling that you're ready to cut. You're ready to maneuver it. You can really get in there and work with that blade. Um, it does appear to be a flat grind and it goes quite a ways up on the blade. Um, I would imagine this is going to keep a nice sharp edge for you. Um, it is the S35VN, so very easy to sharpen if and when you do dull it. But uh, definitely no complaints about that steel. I've had a number of S35VNs and Honestly, they keep an edge pretty pretty nicely, and then when you do need to sharpen it, it's not like D2. It's a uh, pretty easy steel to work with. This one turned out real nice. This is a copper bronze. Um, give you that kind of dark feel. Really happy with the way that one looks. So you got kind of a copper bronze going through. And again, copper on this side. So copper bronze with a purple purple edge to it so it's kind of a bronzy purple in reality I guess I was saying copper bronze but it's more of a bronzy purple again centered up pretty nicely actions real good goes right in of course you have your steel lock bar insert zero tolerance is all over uh, doing things the right way Having that steel on steel locking interface so we don't have any extra wear. Um, so very happy that they've continued that. And overall feeling on this one, definitely going to be a good option for anybody that was considering a 450. If you're looking for something with a little bit more sweep to the blade, you've got a little more belly to this blade than the 450. Um, unfortunately, I've sold out of my 450s at the moment, so I didn't have one to compare to. I do have a bunch of zero tolerances coming in next week, so we will be doing some more work. Um, just to let you guys know, I do have a couple other things in the works as well. Um, I've got a Microtech sigil that uh, I've just started putting back together. Really happy with the way that one turned out with the anodizing, so I will probably start working on some of those Microtech sigils, get those out there. Um, unfortunately, when I was putting it back together, I broke my bit and I can't get all the screws back in. So it'll be a couple days, I've got one of those on order and you'll see some pictures of that one coming soon. I'm also very excited. Uh, last weekend we did the 2017 Knife Expo. Uh, thank you. It was nice seeing all the different people that came out to the show. It was a very good show. I was very happy with it. Sales went nicely. Um, but while we were at that show, I uh, met up with uh, the folks over at Olamic Cutlery, and it does look like I'm going to start uh, working uh, with them. I'll be carrying uh, their mid-tech line, and they have already said that they're going to basically authorize me to do the anodizing on it so that's kind of a first zero tolerance hasn't given me a hard time uh, they're pretty cool about you doing it but uh, the folks over there at Olamic Cutlery are actually going to say that you know what we've authorized uh, Jeff with JD Cutlery to do the anodizing on it so that's definitely taking it to another level 
Um, it'll be nice to get another mid-tech option in here. So I am really excited about that and those will be coming sometime soon here. So, well, thank you for tuning in. I am very happy with this nice new little design. Very excited about the new Zero Tolerance lineup as they start coming in. I will do my best to get them uh, anodized up and up on the website as quickly as possible. I don't know that these will go on tonight, but I will get the video posted. Get some pictures on to Instagram, so if you're interested, go ahead and email me or uh, direct message me on Instagram and we'll kind of run with it from there. So this is Jeff Perkins at JD Cutlery. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.